Good afternoon and we're out to explore Sycamore Gap without the sycamore. Why not come and join me? Good afternoon and for a change I'm, I thought we'd come for to have something a little bit different and I'm on my way to my monthly meeting in the northeast. So we've come to Hadrian's Wall and I thought we would go and explore along the wall see if we can get some decent images and at the same time we will explore Sycamore Gap. Now the Sycamore is no longer there but hopefully we can still get some great images of the wall and the surrounds but obviously not the iconic Sycamore Gap so that's what the plan is we've parked at Steel Rig Car Park which we've done before and we're just going to head out along the wall see what we can find, what images we can find and yep, we'll see you a little bit later Right, well we've come up with our first composition, um, you can see the camera there and as a leading line we've got a section of the wall and the wall that goes up the hill is probably just a normal um, farmer's wall but the wall down there if I zoom in you can see is actually part of the original Hadrian's wall. Um, if I zoom back out you'll see so we've got that as a leading line and then we've got the and I think this is steel rig hence hence steel rig car park um, I don't know whether you can see there I don't know whether if I zoom in you'll see just at the bottom there there's a couple of people that are gonna it, it's obviously a place for rock climbers there's a couple there gonna climb up that rock there and there is a family slowly going up the so and you can see the um, the path winding up. I just thought it made quite um, a nice composition. Well, we'll see what it's like on the computer when we get home, etc. But yeah, that's the first composition. And if we look at the back of the camera, the settings that I've got at the moment is 100 ISO, a hundredth of a second, and f11 and there's no filters whatsoever on to, at the moment so yeah we'll, we'll we'll catch that image then we'll put it up and then we'll carry on and see what else we can find Right, well we've come up with our next composition and you can see there 
we've we've come to mile castle i think it's 39 so we've got the mile castle there and then we've got the wall going up and as far as i can remember sycamore gap is the gap there and then the wall goes back up and along the ridge and we've got this uh, lake here as well so the wall acts as a leading line through the whole um, image and on the top we've got this farm and forest what you've got to remember is while recording through the the 5d it does it at 19 by 16 by 9 should I say whereas the image that I will take is um, 3b2 so this image you see in here is slightly narrow the actual image will be wider so we should be able to see the forest and the farm on the top and a bit of the sky and there is a bit of a problem today that the the light is fairly bland although just looking behind there's a, a bit of blue cloud at the moment so yeah we'll, we'll take the image I can't remember what the settings are but when we put the image up you'll see the settings so yeah we'll get on we'll take the image and and then we'll um, put it up and we'll see you a little bit later Right, well we've made it to Sycamore Gap and you can see there that's where the tree used to be. It's been fenced in and cut. I don't know whether the fence was there anyway but it, it's probably the stump's been treated. So we'll just go down, just go careful here because it's quite steep steps down so um, I apologise if the video goes off a little bit because I'm concentrating on the steps so it's it is a shame it is a downright shame um, I have got a couple of videos about Sycamore Gap that I'll put up um, in the description uh, maybe the link to the the main one when I came in daylight I'll put up in the top corner now so if you're interested and what I probably will do is put some of the footage from when I came here before on so people who are not aware what Sycamore Gap is about or like will get some idea but um, as I mentioned before it probably became partly famous that it featured in the Robin Hood Robin Hood Prince of Thieves film with uh, is it Kevin Costner and um, oh the name of the other actor escapes was it Morgan Friedman oh I can't remember um, anyway if I've got a bit of that I'll maybe put that up as well so yeah we can not quite sure what we're going to do here we'll maybe try and take some sort of image um, let's see what this says here right it does say this tree stump is still alive if we leave it alone it might sprout new growth please respect the barrier take your photos at, from a distance so right we're going to have a mooch around see what we can come up with uh, image wise um, anyway, so we'll see you shortly. 
Right, well, we've come to the place where you'd have got the classic shot of the gap and the sycamore in the middle there. Just a fairly straightforward image, so yeah, we can see there's the camera. Ah, it's just a, a shame, it makes you wonder why anybody would actually do that. Just cut down the tree for the sake of it, so um, yeah, we'll put the image up. I think what we'll do, we'll put the image up and then we'll show an image of the tree thereafter when I took it um, probably sometime last year or maybe um, a little bit longer ago. I'm not quite sure. I'd have to, to look it up. But um, yeah, so we'll put the image up and now I'll have a mooch around. We'll just go a bit further along the wall and see if we can come up with anything else. So. We'll see you a little bit later. Right, well we've come to our last composition um, and it's the last one basically because I need to get back to the van and then to get set for my meeting and there won't be time to walk any further but we've come here to this lake, I'll put the name up on the video and then you've got, if I zoom in, I don't know whether we'll be able to see it so well, but you've got a farm and then beyond the farm you can see the wall going over the top of that peak and that's all in the image um, I am hanging on I don't know whether you can let me just zoom back out you'll see there I am hanging on to the tripod that's where the camera is looking that way because it is quite windy and if I come down here see we're right at, well, virtually at the edge and I don't particularly want anything to go over the edge be it me camera or anything so so yeah I mean I've taken quite a few um, captured quite a few images because the Sun and the light kept changing so hopefully it'll be quite a good one with some nice light it's um, some of the light on the, some of the Im other images has not been brilliant but hopefully on this one it will be nice and we'll give it some just make it pop a little bit so yeah we'll see we'll um, put the image up after this and then we're heading back to the van and then on to um, to get set so anyway we'll see you a little bit later
Right, we're on our way back to the car park and the land now and we're coming on the lower path that is a bit um, not so up and down so we can get back quicker because there's no point in going up and down when we don't need to. I mean, I think the reason the wall goes up and down is if obviously if you, um, you built it on the low bit people could come along the um, the hills and then be looking down on the wall and could attack you so the wall does go over the high points which I suppose from a defence's point of view is the the best thing so yeah it's been nice to get out here it's, um, it's the first time I've been along here since the the tree was chopped down and I was talking to somebody and according to their guidebook it was in September 23 so that's actually less than a year ago I thought it was longer than that but um, I don't know I'd have to check it out if it's any different I'll put the information up on the video but yeah hopefully you've enjoyed what you've seen and if you have enjoyed it please click the thumbs up and if you enjoy what I'm doing why not subscribe and if there is anything anything at all please do comment i do appreciate all comments so i just have a sense that this video might be a little bit shorter than some um the the walks between some of the where i've taken the images was not very long so that means there's not an awful lot of b-roll but we'll see i am trying to be a bit more I don't know what the word would be but um, yeah try and be a bit more involved in when I'm taking some of the images um, you may have noticed in the in the last video if you saw the last video going round um, Annadale water which all been well we'll be going live tomorrow if I get it finished off it's well underway but yeah I want to try and um, rather than just I mean on some of these the last the one at Sycamore Gap and the one the last one were fairly straightforward but I like videoing through the the stills camera and explaining the composition which I did on the second composition I think that's quite good and then on the first composition I did get a good, well hopefully get a good image of the back of the camera so time will tell on that when I get the videos at home so but um, yeah what I had thought of doing today as a, as a bonus video was going and photographing the Angel of the North but unfortunately time has run out we haven't got time to do that I know, I'm not desperately rushing to get to the meeting but there is no time to to stop off at the Angel of the North and take some more images so but yeah the weather's I must admit when I left Keswick this morning the weather was well no it was actually this afternoon things <laughs> took over a bit and I didn't get away anywhere near as early as I planned I wanted to be away by oh probably before noon but um, it was probably about half one when I got away um, some of it was phone calls to do with work etc and didn't maybe get up as early as I could have done but um, that is not one of my strong points getting up early and now who is going to bed early the two the two intend to go hand in hand so so maybe next time when we go over to Gateshead we'll, we'll pay a visit to the Angel of the North. Just that when you're going to just one one location, one, one composition, uh, it doesn't create a very long video so um, I tend to do these short ones uh, just as a bonus video in the, the midweek. Yeah the bonus ones 
I think I've decided it will be the review type ones which I've got one plan to update my thoughts on the platy ball which is the tripod head I use and when it's just a short video like the one I did of um, what was it called rutter force where you've basically gone somewhere there's no connection with any other places around and when you get there, there's really only one composition to be had so yeah that's what I did with Rutter 4 so but we're hoping to to mix things up a bit but the main idea is it's still the main Sunday videos are in the field landscape photography stroke walking and yeah I mean I haven't walked so far this time I don't know what the the GPS is saying at the moment oh, it's not even two miles so <laughs> this yeah although I've walked a bit it's not what I'd call a walk walk whereas the last one round um, Ennerdale water was oh what would it be I think it was about just over seven miles according to my GPS so yeah so anyway as is usual with these videos I am starting to ramble so anyway thank you for watching and hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one